Welcome back, Hordlings, to more Tex Murphy. Alright, first thing we need to do is check out this. The drawing on this paper looks just like the slide I found in the puzzle box. It's a slide with a picture of some strange object. But if Malloy put it in the box, it must be important. Must be. My new vid phone is a... What can I help you with? I learned a few new things, and I'd like to run them by you. By all means. The power cell was recovered from the site near Roswell. All right. Let's head back to Cosmic Encounters. Cosmic Connection, I mean. Let me guess. No, but I promise. Anyways, let's ask about the power cell. Listen, Archie, what can you tell me about this power cell? Well, uh, according to Malloy, there were two of them on the spacecraft recovered at Roswell. Um, the, re the research scientists decided that it was some sort of alien battery, and they tried to break one down. Um, the other one was cataloged and, and stored somewhere in the Roswell complex. You think you're the first person who ever wanted to get in there? Heck, every UFOologist in the world would love to get in there and take a look around the complex. So why don't they? Well, look, first of all, it's secured. The military, they don't want anybody getting in there. It's only accessible with top-level security clearance. Well, one thing seems pretty clear. Malloy considered the power cell to be important to his work and was convinced that one was still hidden away inside the Roswell military complex. All right, let's make a phone call back to Fitzpatrick. My new vid phone is essential. Good evening, Tex. Let's ask about the power cell. The power cell was recovered from the site near Roswell. I need some information about the Roswell military complex. What kind of information? Well, I got one of the boxes open, and inside I found a picture of what I've been told is an alien power cell recovered from the UFO crash at Roswell. I think the power cell must tie in somehow with the Pandora device. And apparently, the only place I'm going to find the power cell is inside the Roswell complex. You intend to go to the Roswell military base? Well, I don't see any way around it. That's why I called. I need to find a way in. I don't think I can help you. My security clearance there is a thing of the long past. Any suggestions? The only people that would still have access to the base would be top military personnel. And perhaps the NSA. Well, if that's all, I guess I better get ready to go. If you're certain you must go to Roswell, there's one other thing that I should tell you. The military base is well camouflaged, and you could spend weeks trying to locate the site. I'll give you the coordinates. If you have connections to the NSA, that's where I'd go to get security clearance high enough to get into the Roswell military base. Word. I believe he's the editor of the Cosmic Connection. It's possible that the box that Mr. Ellis received was a blind meant to throw the NSA off track. Knowing Thomas, he wouldn't put all of his information in any one box. Maybe we need all of the boxes to create the Pandora device. Despite the warnings from Ellis and Fitzpatrick, I'm bound for Roswell.
Hopefully the alien power cell is somewhere in the Roswell military complex. I know that without it, I'll never find out Malloy's secret or cash in. But there is one more stop I need to make before I leave. Look, hey. I'm in the mood. But uh, right after this, I'm gonna hit the road. I'm gonna be gone for a couple days, maybe more. You leaving town? I'm going to Roswell, New Mexico after I finish this drink and a couple more out of that bottle. Roswell? What for? There's an object down at a military base where your father used to work. I need to get that thing so we can cash out. I'm coming with you. No way. I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. Well, don't be gone too long. Well, I'll be gone long enough. <laughs> you know, I think you know a lot more about me than I know about you, and that's not fair. Well, I was married once. How's that? Wow, so is everybody. Tell me about it. What was she like? Well, she was beautiful, sexy, intelligent, and run to the core. <laughs> oh, yeah, one of those. <laughs> so I, um, guess you hate all women. I look at him the way I look at tequila. It's great until you overdo it. And you can't even look at it without getting sick to your stomach. Eventually, you get to the point where you can drink it again, but you never, ever forget that first miserable night. <laughs> nice metaphor. Yeah, well, what's your metaphor of love? My metaphor, let's see. Um, I dance with love until it starts to lead, and I love to dance. Well, it's quite a coincidence. Mm -hmm. I'm a dance instructor. Dance instructor, really? So I guess, I guess that would mean you're very familiar with the forbidden dance of love, huh? Oh, yeah. I know that dance very well. But I don't do it anymore, because I threw my back out. <laughs> So where'd Madsen come from? Oh, I was married once. And what was he like? Oh, he was, he was sexy, handsome, intelligent, and rotten, rotten to, to the, the core. core. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was my tequila. And now I drink nothing but bourbon, straight up. Won't make that mistake again. What do you mean? I mean I let myself be controlled by somebody and I didn't like it. Now I'm in it for myself. Well, here's to looking out for number one and sticking our necks out for nobody. To us. All right, getting somewhere. Day six. South by southeast. The trip to Roswell takes about four and a half hours, giving me plenty of time to think. Something's bothering me from the last time I went to the Cosmic Connection. What is this, an episode of Total me. Recall? A black Avatar speeder was parked down the street. Could have been the NSA. The voice in the back of my head keeps telling me that Archie Ellis is in danger. Or is it that they're just keeping tabs on me? Eventually, I locate the military base, and using the NSA ID badge I found at Autotech, I'm able to get into the complex. The area is still running various security systems, but the place is totally abandoned, at least by humans. Time to save my game. Oh no! What the fuck? I guess just save it there. Day six.
When are people gonna learn that if you want to hide something, don't hide it under a mattress? Okay, laser field deactivator Dealy Majiggy. Use the laser field deactivator across the nine sectors shaded in red in four movements that are either horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. You cannot re-enter a sector that's been previously crossed. To accomplish this, place the activator controller in section blah blah blah. Halogen lamps busted. Nightstand looks like high quality plywood construction. The sun's faded this photograph. Still looks pretty good, though. Oh, someone went a little crazy with the paper puncher. Phone's probably no longer hooked up to people in this galaxy. The drawer still looks. Locker doors are in good shape. Locker. It's like the same locker I used at Sternwood Junior High. How nice. I can always use an extra key. Whatever was written on this paper has been punched out. Oh, great. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Alright, I don't care about this shit anymore. Let's just get this shit done. I don't know if you can even turn this shit. Oh, of course you can. That's a set of numbers, that much is obvious. There's a three. Looks like it locks into place when it's the right one. And if it's not, it tells you to go fuck yourself. 5-1, looks like a 4.
A two. And there goes my bonus. And you can shove that fucking bonus up your ass. Is that good? You fuck nugget. It's ridiculous. You'd have, literally have to save and reload and practice these puzzles over and over to get them done in time. Kind of annoying. Let's see if there's anything interesting. Let's... I've seen these things before, in war movies. What they call it? Uh, Walkie-talkie. <laughs> it's ancient. Oh! Guess we're taking some batteries. We're absconding some batteries from the walkie-talkie. Well, 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 what have we got here? A box of matches. Oh, it's an emergency procedures handbook. This may shed some light on something. The bunker shall remain closed at all times unless there's a true emergency. In case of dangerous conditions at the base, the klaxon tower will sound the emergency warning and the bunker door will open. When the door is shut, the room will be sealed, all the environmental and biological contaminants. The door still looks like it slides in and out. And what's this little item here? It's my level 2 security clearance card with Lieutenant Joe Bob over Oversby. He's 100% gay. What the fuck was that? Well, there must be some trick to getting this door open. Door one. That's the door I came in.
The back door. Shovel. Well, I guess you never know. I might have to dig my way out. Get it. We like shovels. It's a fuse. It's a good thing to have when you're working with explosives. The storage shack's in pretty good. It's open now, baby nuts. This flashlight looks like it could put out quite a beam of light. Something's wrong with this thing. There's no light coming out of it. Deep D probably needs batteries. Now it works. It's a live flashlight. And that is the light extending out of it. That's a toolbox. Still in good shape. Open sesame. Some wire strippers. Shit. This is probably the control system for the laser field. Yeah, probably. Fucking brainiac. Code accepted. Fucking puzzle master. I gotta slowly walk through the deactivated. Lasers. Easy as goblin pie. And you probably want to save your game before and after you do that, not just after. But it takes balls to have balls, baby. Electrical wire. That could come in handy. Combine that with the power with the wire strippers. That'll get us some stripped power cable. That's got to be the entrance to the main Roswell facility. There's no visible way to open this from out here. Must have been operated by security personnel and stuff. But to think about this.
be fucked up they make you cross back through this they're pretty serious about keeping That's a garden house. That's a garden house. It's a power switch. Nothing happened. There must be something wrong. That door gets me back into the Rifles are locked securely into place. And they look too damaged to be useful anyway. The back. Got me. Oh, shit. It's like a map of the surrounding area. Fuck, I don't know. I'll have to waltz around and figure out what to do. Anyways, thank you for watching Hordlings, and we'll see you soon with some more Tex Murphy and the Pandora Directive.